so we're going to do a what I eat in today and or what I eat in today, what I <laughs> eat in a day. Um, and I am actually t trying out the green plan for a little while. So if you want an explanation about why I am switching it up for a bit, please check out our 11 month weight loss update. Um, so I'm really excited about today and I am starting off this morning by trying out a recipe. So let's start cooking together. So this is a recipe that I got from WW Pound Dropper. Eric will link it for you down below. So it's the skinny banana bread or muffins. So I kind of already started it. Um, here I have some mashed bananas and then an egg. And all I have to do is add, oh, this smells so good, some vanilla and then the sugars. So I'm using this for the white sugar, um, which is like a sugar substitute. I am using, using real brown sugar because we don't have a brown sugar substitute. So that's just what we're doing. Ooh, it smells so good. Okay, I think this looks pretty mixed up. And then in this bowl, I have the dry ingredients. So it is just self-rising flour, baking soda, and baking powder. And then I am going to mix this up. I mean, not like super, super well. Just this. And then add this, the dry and the wet ingredients. Now, they're always telling you like don't over mix don't over mix so I'm going to try to be very gentle and to not over mix all right so it says before it is like fully mixed so this is what it looks like sorry that's okay uh, this is what it looks like so there's still obviously parts um this is light melted butter in an Avengers cup so it says to add the melted butter or you could do um, applesauce but she really recommends this melted butter for the texture so I figured I'm on green green has more points why not go for the melted butter it is two tablespoons of melted butter so it's really not a lot oh this is looking more and like, it's the white butter and it's the light butter Thanks, Erin. No problem. Yeah. Okay, awesome. I feel like this looks pretty, I mean, there's some stuff on the, I feel like it looks done. All right, so now I have my prep bowl. Oh my gosh, it's gonna fall. Don't fall. Not bowl, what is this called? Muffin tin. Um, I have my prepped muffin tin, which is definitely sprayed so i'm just going to spoon this in this is actually a really easy recipe yeah, shout out to like everybody who recommended this for amy i know <laughs> she's struggling so, before i know look at how fast and smooth this is thank you so much for your recommendation like i said i'm totally still like a beginner cook you know oh my gosh i still drip but this helps with, and I'm so messy. Eric will tell you how messy I am. She's right? pretty messy. Yeah, pretty messy. But I think I'm filling these way too much. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll fill them up and show you. Okay, so this is something that I am going to add to the recipe, partially because I have bananas that really need to uh, get eaten or used. So see, I'm still messy. Um, but I, in my banana bread or in anything like, basically in any kind of muffin or whatever, I want to see like chunks of the fruit in what I'm eating, if it's a bread or a muffin. So I am just adding a little bit of, basically I'm just adding a banana to the top of these things. And these are free, so I'm really not worried about it affecting the points because they're free on all plans. 
Now we're getting crazy here, adding all sorts of things. Eric suggested that I add a little sprinkle of cinnamon to these too. So, sure, I love cinnamon. Why not? I think it could be delicious. So just going to add a little bit. I mean, I don't think these will do anything other than make them taste more delicious. Okay, so my oven is already preheated 30, no, 350, and I think it's about 18 minutes that I'm supposed to put these in, so we'll see. Oh man, I can smell the cinnamon already. I know. It smells so good. <laughs> okay, here is my breakfast, and Eric, show them the side view so they can see how nice and fluffy it looks. Oh uh, it smells incredible. Oh, let me open it up, too. Ooh, it's... Guys, look at it. Doesn't this look so good? Um, all right, this is two points for all plans, and I cannot wait for it, so I'm going to eat this now. I may be the luckiest woman on the face of the planet because I apparently married a genius because the cinnamon, adding the little bit of cinnamon, oh, so good. This was incredible. This is my favorite, this is by my favorite like muffiny type of thing that I've ever made and it is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Texture is there, everything, everything is there and it's pretty easy and um if my dad feels like being on camera i will have him give his opinion about it um i thought it was really really good and really low in points so yeah all right time to get to work update banana muffins super tasty not filling like super not filling it's a little after 10 and i've been sitting here for a while like this is my ironing station uh where i iron the fabric for the bags i make um i'm just like feeling hungry and hungry and then i was like what what am i doing i'm not like weight watchers you don't have to feel hungry you know so um i just went and i just cut up a little apple so i'm going to have zero point apple for a snack because I will not, I cannot make it to lunch because I'm super hungry. But banana muffin, good. But maybe you want to pair it with something. I wish I could eat eggs. I really, really do, but they do not settle well with my stomach. Because I feel like having bacon, eggs, and a little banana muffin with some fruit. I mean, that's a big breakfast, but it's, uh, sounds good. But just, that's just not my life. All right, lunchtime. So I have another apple because it just sounded good. And then the peanut butter powder, one point. And then I have these breads, two points, for, well, one each. And then um, the amount of this Trader Joe's garlic aioli mustard thing that I am using is zero points for the amount that I use because you really don't need a lot. And then I'm just going to assemble this sandwich. So I have one point of center cup bacon, just lettuce, onions, and then I measured out uh, two ounces of turkey, which is one point on the green plan. So I'll just assemble it and then show you. All right, here is my lunch, all assembled. I think if I'm doing my math right, this is, this is a five point lunch, which I'm excited about. That lunch, I mean, nothing revolutionary, so good. I really, really, really like the garlic mustard and aioli sauce from Trader Joe's. It, you, it's so powerful in flavor, you just need a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. But it is delicious, it was a delicious lunch. I feel full and I'm so ready to like, get back to all that stuff so I could start sewing here, so. Good food day so far snack time and i'm excited so this is some frozen grapes with some sugar-free jello on it to me it's like my kind of candy or candy alternative i think it's so good um and so this is zero points i have six crackers for three points a laughing cow uh white cheddar cheese thing for one point and then this is two ounces of sliced roast beef. 
that I love I love deli roast beef so 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 much and I feel a little bit freer on the green plan to try to work to have this so this is two points I'm pretty sure so three four five six yes six point snack okay this is my dad and I'm having snack time with my dad we're sitting and chatting so my dad had two of my muffins this morning banana muffins what did you think I think they're better than anything you could buy in a store they're really what? they're flavorful and uh, she's made regular banana bread for me and I couldn't tell the difference it's actually it tasted uh, it was hot and fresh and really I, I would look forward to eating some more tomorrow. And so, yes, I would encourage you in that banana muffin, right? The blue yeah. Okay. What did mom, did mom like it? She loved it. We okay. both ate them right on up. They okay. were delicious. <laughs> Thank you for reviews from my dad. Oh yeah, these are the crackers I got. I got them from Aldi, by the way. That's the crackers that I'm using. That snack was so tasty. So I didn't really get to eat the grapes though because um, it was too frozen. I, I prefer to let them defrost a little bit before I actually start eating them. Um, and I totally forgot it, forgot to do it. So like kind of, fro kind of frozen, you know, like basically letting my, when you let your ice cream soften, that's kind of how I like it. Um, but thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all the suggestions that you guys give me when like, I'm ta like basically when you comment and help me. It really, really, really does help me because that snack idea was from one of you lovely, lovely, lovely people out there. And I really appreciate it because it's, it's delicious. Like it's super, super, super good. And yeah, so thank you guys. Um, so today is my first well technically my second so yesterday I tried the green plan and it worked out totally fine but I wasn't really trying anything new so yesterday I don't even remember what I had for lunch I um I had something easy oh I think I had a burrito or something for lunch and then I had like a frozen burrito and then I had chipotle for dinner so like it didn't require like a lot of other things so one thing that I am noticing now that today is like my first like real cooking day on uh, the green plan is is that like things do take a little bit longer like to prepare and I'm already so slow I'm so I'm such a slow cook um but Eric was laughing at how long it took me to make my turkey sandwich for lunch today and then my my snack also took a little bit longer just because like you have to weigh things out you know you just can't grab things because there aren't as many free items i mean there are still free things obviously um yeah but it's really interesting so that's one thing that i noticed about the green plan and i also am really really excited about incorporating different proteins in because before this all started i was such a red meat girl like steak is probably one of my favorite meals, if not my favorite, one of them. I can't decide what my actual favorite is. But steak was one of my favorite meals. I had a roast beef sandwich all of the time. And so it was so nice just to have like a little bit of roast beef and just some things that I felt like I used to be able to love to be able to try. And honestly, like, who knows if this is gonna work for me, you know? Like maybe, maybe, I was able to lose so much weight because I made those switches but I'm just hoping that maybe if I'm just c doing the portions correctly and like weighing and measure things out and if I'm careful maybe I can enjoy some of the things I used to love more you know who knows who knows who knows anyway I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update or tell you guys some things I actually have a doctor's appointment tomorrow that I am kind of, I don't know, nervous about a little bit. There are two things that I'm going to go in for. The first thing is, is for my foot. So I don't know if I told you guys or not, but maybe about two weeks ago or something, uh, I accidentally stepped on some glass and like it cut my foot open. Not very big at all. Uh, but it definitely hurt, like, and it definitely affected me. So, w what happened was, was that, like, 
um, someone in my house like accidentally dropped a jar of jam and then there was one piece of glass that was missed and of course I happened to like step on it and like totally totally mess it up anyway so it did hurt for the first couple of days but like I put I cleaned it out put a band-aid on and stuff like that but I'm a little bit worried that there is something in there or something's going on because um a couple of days ago my foot started to really hurt in the same place and yesterday it was like really it was really bad um and like I had to like just walk kind of on the side of my foot because the injury where it is it's like the ball of my big toe um that's that's where it hurts and and I tried to like because I could see this like it just is the tiniest looking thing that looks like there's something black in there but it just looks like a tiny black thing like if I didn't like take a shower and wash my feet, like it would just look like a speck of dirt. You know, it is tiny, tiny, tiny. But that's the only thing that I think that could ha that could be my foot. And so like we tried to dig it out, and then uh, basically it was pu pussy. There's pus. So um, so that's when Eric was like, like Amy, we and we couldn't we couldn't get whatever it is out. So he was like, you should probably go to the doctor. And of course. So I made the appointment today and I got an appointment tomorrow, which I'm so excited about because sometimes, you know, like you have to wait a while. But, and then of course today, my foot is feeling so much better. Like I could, I could feel it when I am like putting pressure on it, like every step, but it's really not that bad. So it's, I don't know. I'm probably going to go to the doctors and the doctor will just say like, take some Tylenol or whatever. But, um, but if they do, Oh well, at least I will know that there's not like a minuscule baby piece of glass that's going to work its way all the way up to my heart or brain, you know. Um, so that's that. And then I'm also going because I get frequent yeast infections. And actually this is just something that has been going on since I started to go through puberty. Um, and it just happens all the time. And I think it's partially for home. I don't know. I just think there's there's some different reasons. And I did take Monist at one, but it still wasn't helping very much. And of course today, feeling fine. Um, so because I was going to go get the prescription, um, which generally does help help me out. But it's just so annoying because like when I get these infections first of all like sleep is so hard so 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 hard and also I'm just so uncomfortable that it's so hard for me to be productive or so hard to focus on anything and it's it's a really really busy time um time of year so I just want to talk to her about this and just I don't know if they could do any tests or tell me what's the cause or just see if there's anything that I could do to help make it not make it not happen so often. Um, I was, I did, I did talk to doctors about this before and I know it could be, basically this happens, um, this is common if you have diabetes. I got tested before, I wasn't diabetic or anything. I know it could also happen when you are pregnant, not pregnant because it's been happening since I was, well, since I was a teenager or whenever I started getting my periods. Um, but, but I do have a suspicion that it does happen when I'm wearing certain type of clothing. So I'm going to bring in the pants that I suspect and just see if, see like, hey, this is what it's made out of. Do, do those cause things? Is it, is, I just want, I just want a doctor to tell me everything that I can be aware of, everything that I can do to avoid it, just because it's so, it's, it's nothing it's annoying and it definitely affects my life and so I want to if I'm prioritizing my health like by losing weight why not like try to make my life better like improve the quality of my life overall um so anyway I'm sorry that was too much information but also hash also I I feel like it's important to be able to talk about like women and female issues and not feel 
weird about it, you know, because I wasn't graphic, you know, and so I, so I think it's important to talk about so people can know that you don't have to live your life that way. I mean, maybe, maybe I do, who knows, you know, but at least I'm going to find out an answer to it. All right, work is calling me, gotta go. It's dinner time and this little cutie is going to be helping me make dinner. Why, Eric? Because I know how to make good spaghetti. Yes, and we're going to kind of make a uh, spaghetti-ish. So let me show you some of the ingredients. I'm going to use ground beef, which I'm so excited for, 96% lean. Got this at Trader Joe's. I'm going to use this low carb pasta. I have the scale so I could be weighing everything. This is some of Eric's secret ingredients that he'll use. Also, I will measure this. For the sauce, a long time ago, you guys might have seen, I made zero point marinara. So this is going to be my zero point sauce. And then to season the meat, we have basil, oregano, garlic, and onion. And I already have my Brussels sprouts. This is two point Brussels sprouts. All it is is Brussels sprouts, center cut bacon, and uh, a little bit of brown sugar on it. Two points for the side that I will roast. Okay, Eric recommended this kind of portion, which is six ounce. So, what are you doing? You're the I, star. I'm seasoning. Hopefully I don't, this stuff comes out so fast. Oh, I know, is that our onion powder? Yeah. yeah. And then basil and oregano. Do you think that this will be ready in 15 minutes? Probably. Okay, I'll put my Brussels sprouts on. So you're just going to cook that up? Yep, I'm just going to cook it up. Please explain. We are going to put in the secret sauce ingredient. Which is just cooking wine? Yeah, it's just going to cooking wine. So it'll kind of bring out the flavor. Don't forget to tell the points, Eric. Oh, sorry. It's, um... One point for two tablespoons. Good job. You can be a Weight Watcher star before you know it. Okay. So it's just cooking up. Oh, and our water is boiling. I better measure the pasta out. Here is Sm the hamburger meat. It smells really good. It smells excellent, actually. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> okay. The zero point marinara goes in with the pasta. Or with the meat. I made it chunkier when I originally did it because I like it chunky. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just stir it in and warm it up, basically. Yeah. Oh, and then it's Juicy. chunky meat too. Yep. Very just how meaty. Amy likes it. Amy likes her. I like my sauce really saucy, and Amy likes it chunky. And so whenever we used <laughs> to do spaghetti, we would make a batch with just with the sauce, and then I'd put the meat that I like in there, which is usually half a pound per, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> and so then we would have extra meat on the side that after I got my amount, we would put in for Amy so that she could get the full sauce experience. Because I want mine, this is actually a lot of meat, but that's okay, I have the points for it. And it's run day, so this will be good to fill you up for dinner. Yeah, it was just a slow run though, but. Well, Still, a couple miles. This today. is going to be a lot of food. It looks great. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'm putting in noodles. <laughs> These are the low carb pasta noodles. Yeah, which means I can't eat them. It's funny, they're not keto friendly noodles. They're just lower carb. How many carbs were in there? I think it was 11 per serving, which is lower than normal, but I couldn't eat those because. It actually might have been 20, I don't remember. I thought it was 19. Oh, was sure. it 19? What am I thinking? Oh, 11 was the crackers. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I tried a cracker the other day, and then I looked at the back of the box, and I just ate five five carbs with one tiny DVD cracker, and I was like, well, whoops. <laughs> so this is Amy's fancy dinner for tonight. <laughs> this is meat sauce. It's zero. Wait, how many points is it? Well, the sauce is zero. And then the meat. I think was three. Three points, and then the noodles are three, three points. And the asparagus, or asparagus, wait, no, it's this. 
Brussels sprouts? Brussels sprouts is two. two. So three, three, six, eight. seven, eight. Plus the Parmesan cheese is one, nine. I think I'm not counting something. Maybe, maybe it's, no, 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 this is four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what I think it is. Awesome. Hello, I wanted to give you an update about my points for dinner before, uh, because I didn't tell you accurately. So I had cheese, Parmesan cheese, one point. Brussels sprouts, two points. The special noodles, three points. And then the cooking wine, which I forgot about, one point. And then the uh, Trader Joe's ground beef, four points. So dinner with total was 11. I could not eat it all. Well, it was delicious. That's good. You did a good job. Thank you. Thanks. It's my specialty. It is. It's the it's... only and best thing I can cook outside of tacos. But tacos is really easy. You just brown meat and put taco seasoning in them. So how hard is that? Yes, okay, so Eric is going to help me end the video because I want him to tell a story of the first time he made uh, spaghetti for me. So, when we first started dating, we started dating in August, and on a month, well, it wasn't really, ex I don't remember if it was exactly a month, but oh, no. we had our first month anniversary dinner where I we dressed fancy in my apartment, and I kicked my roommates out for a couple hours, and we had dinner and I made spaghetti for her and I made my fancy spaghetti that I still make to this day. Yes. But um, yeah, it was really funny and fun. It was really fun and he decorated and he had roses. I as oh, I remember the roses. Did I decorate? Yeah, oh. you strung lights up oh, and stuff right. like that. I try to make it like romantic and stuff. Yeah, and so he had me wait up in the, in his, I don't know, somewhere upstairs in his uh, townhouse that he had with his roommates. And so he like decorated and he did all these different things. And, and so then I got to walk down and it was so cute and there were candles and everything. So he's pretty romantic. And we were, um, we were, ha we had a long distance relationship for yeah. like, because I lived in California and he lived in Washington. So I was up there, I think I was staying with some of his friends from church or something like that. But. Uh, you, yeah, the first couple, I remember it was the first time she came up to visit and she mm -hmm. stayed with some friends for a couple of days and then he, moved, he went to my sister's for yeah. a couple of days Yeah, yeah, I think so. To meet kind of, well I guess you met them before, but. Yeah. But Back when was, the kids were little. Oh my gosh, those are so They're tiny. so big now, they're so big. Uh, big headaches, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> kidding <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so um let me let's get back to the uh points so just kind of wanted to recap because this is the first green day you know what i'll show you let me flip you around all right eric would you like to no i was trying to get it to focus on the oh thing. okay Sorry. okay so i have six points left but i'm totally like it's with i got a blue dot um so i had the banana muffin for two, the lunch, which was the turkey sandwich, and then the apples and peanut butter were five. Dinner, we just talked about, was 11. Then I actually had a big snack of the like crackers, cheese, and whatever for six points. So I used, oh, 24, interesting. That only would have been one more point than on blue. But whatever, I'm totally, totally full. So that's the breakdown on the green plan. Okay, would you like to end it for me? Uh, sure. Thanks for watching this What I Eat in a Day on the Weight Watchers Green Plan. Or My WW Green. I don't know what they call it either. So. I, I always get confused. I don't know what people are calling it. I just call it Weight Watchers because <laughs> it's easier that way. Yeah. Uh, but thanks for watching. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Boop, boop, boop. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you have any fun comments for us, leave them below. And I'll <laughs> link all the recipes below. I think yeah. there's just one today, right? I don't remember. He does all the work. Oh, yeah, probably I think only one for the banana muffins, which were excellent. They smelled really good. when This morning when I was walking through the kitchen, I was like, oh, man. Whoever well, whoever said put the cinnamon on top of the, <laughs> the jeans. So smart. So Just smart. Kidding. Okay, bye, guys. Thanks for watching.